Hey guitar friends, if you want some help learning songs on your own, or you write your own music, write your own songs, or you enjoy sampling or recording your own music, or just analyzing music, this software, RipX, may be helpful for you. Today I'm going to have my brother Jeff kind of show you some things you can do with the software and see how it may be helpful for you. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jeff, and I want to show you some cool software that allows you to learn and rehearse songs. It's a powerful program called RipX. This software uses artificial intelligence to break apart music files so that you can see individual tracks. You can see vocals and guitars, bass, drums, strings, anything that you want. This program will show you the individual notes in a chord or a lead line or a bass line, and it even shows you the chord diagrams at the top of the timeline for you. It's such a powerful program, so I want to take just a minute and show you some of its features. So I've installed the program and I've opened it up and this is the first screen that uh, that comes up. So there's a lot of options I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to go over. You can create songs with artificial intelligence, original songs. This is, uh, you're going to record new songs, brand new songs in this one. Uh, you're going to open up a file. All right, so I'm going to click the folder icon to open up a new file. And I have this uh, something in the orange that uh, Robbie recorded for one of his tutorials. And this screen pops up. It's got all of these options. So if you want to separate out all of the instruments, you want to check each of these boxes. So this last box, don't check unless you just want to separate all the instruments and have it export them into a folder without displaying the song on the screen. So you won't be able to play around with it and manipulate it. So I'm gonna leave that unchecked, but I'm gonna check everything else. And I'm gonna push rip and it'll tell me that it'll take a couple minutes here. So let's see. So up here, it says three minutes. It's gonna take uh, to do this. So I will skip ahead. Alrighty, so we process this file. So up here we have rips. We can put multiple rips. We can do what we just did. So just click on the one that you're working on. And then down here in layers, we have voice, piano, guitar, bass, percussion, strings. Um, but we only are working with voice and guitar. So all the tan parts are voice, all the blue parts are guitar. And uh, so let's just play it. I'm gonna move the current time indicator, which is this. Um, I'm going to move this, I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to push the space bar. It'll be fine by just like I tell you, baby. That's just the original track. I'm going to give you a couple shortcuts if you push the control key and the scroll on the mouse back and forth. You can zoom in and out horizontally and just just point your your mouse where you want kind of to expand and it'll uh, automatically expand for that area and then if if your current time indicator is not at the beginning and you want to go to the beginning push the home button um, and you'll get there all right so now we get into some cool stuff where um, we can isolate tracks so we go to the left here on voice if we were to click on voice um, you see just all the brown. Um, we can put our current time indicator here. And we can just solo all the voice tracks. So check this out. It'll be fine by dusk life telling you, baby. So there's no guitar over that anymore. We just have the voice. So if we wanted to play guitar over Robbie um, and replace his guitar, that's the way to do it. We can either do that or we can use this little, so when you hover over, there's this little line and then you can just turn the volume down on the voice and just hear guitar maybe. So you can still hear the voice. It's just a little bit quieter. You can do the same with the guitar, keep the voice up, but let the guitar kind of go down. These things eat at your bones and drive your young mind crazy. But that way you still have some guitar in there as a reference. So if you wanted to play your own guitar part over it, uh, that would be the way to go. And then here's another piece of this, which is amazing. So if you click on guitar, you got to zoom in and you start to see the chord diagrams up here. 
So that tells you what chords are being played at any given time. I'm going to push the home button here to get to the very beginning. Uh, it's not 100% accurate. Um, it doesn't pick up all of the chords, but we have the E minor that it starts with, and it goes to the G, um, does a bunch of variations of G, and then goes back to the E, to the G. If you look at these, like uh, little notes here, these actually do mean something. This is an actual note. So what it does is isolate each string of the guitar and obviously it's artifacted like I said it's not perfect uh, it's a little gar gargly so it's really cool so, so you can you can tell like what what notes make up this oh we got the D here and we got the G and and E and all that you can do that with with lead lines and with chords and everything um, and then the voice even you can see like what notes Robbie's singing here I'm gonna zoom in and uh you know obviously Fun. there we go Fly, baby let's open up a studio file um from eddie rabbit one of my favorites uh it's a song that i uh, can't find anywhere on streaming so i figured it'd be safe to use but let's check it out it has a super cool bass line and we'll analyze that one a little bit more so i'm going to push open file open and then i'm going to come down here all right, double click. I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna uncheck that, and then it's uh, it's three minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward. All right, so we're done with this track. I'm gonna click on this one, Big Brown Eyes. We have a lot more things going on now, and I'm using Control, holding down Control, and I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom out here. Just so you know, it may not be 100% accurate. Like the piano may not be piano. It may be just picking up some acoustic guitar remnants. We got strings, uh, percussion, drums, kick. Uh, so it tries to separate all that out, but uh, it, it kind of just, it gets lost in translation sometimes. So uh, I think best bet if you wanted all the drums, I would just solo all three of the drum tracks. And uh, let's, let's just, start with the drums since I'm there I'm gonna push home the home key Let's gets a little garbled there but still pretty cool so I'm gonna unsolo these and so we're gonna hear just the whole master track just a couple seconds Let's see what the piano track is giving us. Let's see, we gotta solo it. Yeah, so I think that's just kinda some pieces of the acoustic guitar that it, it read as piano. So this is not an exact science for sure. It just, uh, it, it does its best and it's, it's pretty darn good. Let's just solo the guitars and the guitars will be acoustic and electric. It, I don't think it separates. This bass line is like, is killer. I love it, especially toward the end. It's so good. It's pretty clean. I love, like, so if you're, if you're wanting to know the bass line and uh, get familiar with it, this is the way to go. I'm gonna fast forward here to the bass uh, little thing. So as you see, it like does all this crazy stuff. And click on a group of notes here. So if you wanted to just like play that, you can just play that over and over and over again to try to learn it. But it's cool because it gives you uh, the exact notes. So you know it goes D, D, E, and then you know you just read every every note, and you can like make notes and write it down and just learn exactly what they're doing there. Here's the uh, tempo that it picked up. It automatically 
recognize that. And here's the time signature, which I believe that's all correct. It should be. So if you come up here to metronome, you can click it and now you have a metronome to play along with. And then you can lower like the guitar maybe. And let's lower some of these other things. Let's lower the strings maybe. And so you can probably hear it. And if you need to to raise the volume of the metronome, you can just do this. Like the morning meets the sunrise. You know, so anyway, just a really cool tool to do uh, a lot of other stuff that I haven't even talked about. Um, you know, you can get into loops and sounds and effects. So hopefully this is going to be a cool tool for you guys to be able to uh, hear different parts, maybe learn lead lines that you normally wouldn't have been able to hear as easily. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys again. If you found this interesting and want a more in-depth tutorial of the RIP-X software, leave a comment down below and let us know.